kind of guy is Mike. Mike, Mike is the best. Uh, what you see is what you get. Straightforward, true, genuine, very authentic, straight shooter. Mike Simmons, uh, not enough words to describe him. Very, probably one of the most charismatic people I've ever met in my life. He's intense and he's hilarious. He gets up every day and he's on a mission to accomplish something that day and to be, to be uh, responsible to, to make whatever it is for that day a success. Whether it be go to the Salvation Army and spend the day or go to Bellevue College to a board meeting or help his son with, with his new business venture, I should say his sons, it, it doesn't make any difference. He's going to go at it with a focus and, and something good's going to happen. He's going he's gonna to make it happen just because of who he is. He's a lot of fun, um, big personality, smart, a lot of wisdom. Big heart, um, big personality, um, big supporter of many different things. Uh, really just a wonderful uh, person to know and be, and be uh, part of his, uh, his entourage at times. He's really, he's really a great person. Well, Mike is someone that is fun-loving and he loves a good time. Mike is a funny guy. He will make you laugh because he will say anything that's on his mind. I think the funny thing about Mike is he's, he can be so passionate, but when you get on his bad side, he is one feisty son of a bitch. Yeah, Phenomenal, well, over-the-top giver. Yeah, if, he, if he's a friend of yours, he'll do anything for you. If you're trying to do business with him, he's a pain in the ass. <laughs> Very non-athletic. I'm surprised he doesn't fall more often, uh, but he's a wonderful competitor and just a great, great friend. He has a great work ethic and he's instilled that in, in me. Mike's been a good friend. He's very honest. He's very direct. I admire his unvarnished honesty and, and frankness. Mike is one of those rare individuals who has the character and the courage to step up and say enough's enough and put his name and his reputation and uh, the wealth that he's accumulated behind efforts to make positive change for the community. Mike is bigger than life in our community. Um, he has a passion for helping charities, local charities that he believes in and shares their mission with. And he's also very passionate about the culinary indus industry in Omaha. Definitely like a Tasmanian devil in the kitchen. <laughs> he comes in, whips it through, makes a big mess, and he yeah. runs out. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm always reminded of that TV ad, uh, the, the Dos Equis ad of the, the world's most interesting man. I think Mike Simmons is maybe the world's most interesting man. And certainly he's the most interesting man in my world. And just a great, great friend. He'll be there pretty much any time you ever need him. He's there for you. Mike uh, does not stand for status quo. He, and I think that's why he and I hit it off, uh, is from a business perspective, he was always uh, willing to give me that candid feedback that, that most uh, won't give. Uh, there's nobody I enjoy talking to any more than Mike when I have a situation with, uh, with, with my own, uh, not just both personally with my kids because of all the similarities or in, in a business experience because of uh, uh, how he thinks, what he's accomplished, which what he's accomplished is over the top. Moving here from, I think, Alabama to Fremont, Nebraska, when he was given an opportunity, there was a Burger King that was troubled in Fremont, and he had yet never been to Nebraska, and he just locked stock and barrel moved here and has made an incredible life for himself and his family. Mike's uh, an individual who um, at least has taught me that you've got to stay on top of every detail in your business if you're going to be successful. You've got to approach the uh, business with enthusiasm and you've got to approach it with uh, uh, integrity and the ability to uh, d serve the public in a way in which they'll come back again and again. And so Mike's had a tremendous impact on me because I'm on a, in a consumer type business, a business to business business. And 
uh, we have to uh, we have to exhibit the same kind of qualities that Mike has. I couldn't even begin, and I'm sure many other people couldn't even begin to try to uh, put together everything that Mike's meant to them personally and professionally in just a, a couple short, you know, for a short few minutes here. It's not hard to drag an opinion out of Mike, as you know, he's very forthright. Um, I think he would, uh, you know, just speaks his mind, maybe to the point of being abrupt at times, but uh, on the other hand, he's very willing to take and I think looks for a fair amount of flack back his way when he does so, you know. So I just think Mike being Mike, is that's, that's the way he comes across sometimes, is that he's just opinionated and direct and maybe abrupt at times, but I just give him the appropriate amount of grief when I can. He treats everybody, everybody. I don't care if you're walking down the street and somebody asks you for a cup of coffee, he's going to stop and talk to him. I mean, he'll give the, his time to the CEO of a company or the janitor. It makes no difference. Mike doesn't have any prejudices. He doesn't have any boundaries. It's not a caste system. He's, he's, uh, he, he loves people, and he loves to help people. And uh, that's truly what we all love about him generous heart and again tough on the outside but really warm and tender on the inside. He's got uh, a very courageous spirit and most giving heart of just about anybody I can think of uh, that I know. Matter of fact I'm going to say it's anybody that I think of I can know. There's only one. There's only one. Love you Mike. Papa you are very nice and friendly, and you have done so much for me. And I wish him a happy birthday on August 7th. Uh, Kathy and I were just talking that it's been about 30 years that we've known you guys, you and Lynn, and we've got to do some fantastic traveling together, mm -hmm. some of it with our families. And one thing that's very been very memorable and Kathy told me not to talk about it, was our trip to Yellowstone, so I won't bring that up. He just did. <laughs> but uh, I guess the one thing that Kathy and I have been so impressed is the fact that you have been so generous with your time to so many worthy causes, and the fact that uh, when you feel strong about something, you're, you're willing to put your time, effort, and money behind it. So uh, uh, you're not a fence sitter, and you're it's no secret where you stand on any issue. Uh, so uh, it's, those are wonderful qualities and uh, uh, you are a, a great example, example to, the to, the, to the rest of us. And uh, It's one of the things we admire most about you, that you are not a fence sitter and that you, you say what you think and you stand up for what you believe is right. We just want to wish you a happy birthday, Mike. Happy birthday, Mike. We love you. Hi, Mike. Happy birthday. Last year, we had a birthday lunch at Jay Coco's. My birthday's the 5th. Yours is the 7th. And I gave you a jar of homemade refrigerator pickles, and you asked for more. So this year, I'm bringing you more pickles. Happy birthday, big guy. I love you. Mike, you're a good friend of mine, and we've had great times together. And from a business standpoint, you're so-so. Uh, I would call you, um, well, I won't call you anything because this is being taped. So uh, at any rate, um, the friendship means may way more than business. So we are good to go. We have been, and we will continue to be. Love you, man. I love you too, Mike. Well, Mike, you have always inspired us and challenged us to think bigger and better. And a perfect example is our tree of lights, our giant tree of 75 feet that has more LED lights than the tree at the Rockefeller Center and located at the busiest intersection in, our, in the entire state at 90th and Dodge. And it's all because of your inspiration and your challenging us to do it better. That tree is not only the beacon of hope for the Salvation Army, but it is for the entire community. Thank you, Mike, for inspiring us to do better each and every time that we meet with you. Uh, you you've always been an inspiration, and we're, we're very grateful. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Mike. Thank you for being my friend. Our long, long friendship has certainly enriched my life. And Cindy says happy birthday, too. 
So Mike, I want to wish you a very happy birthday. I want you to have as much fun uh, and surrounded by all your friends as possible. I want you to continue to focus attention on all those crazy trips that you and your wife have made over the years with your family and friends, uh, special places, special events, uh, unusual places that you uh, have enjoyed going to. And I want to uh, continue to look forward to our afternoon uh, meetings, especially uh, over a cup of tea or whatever beverage you would like, and uh, share good times and good friends and, uh, and uh, have you uh, continue to advise me on uh, what it is to, uh, to shape a life and to have an impact on this community. So thanks very much for all the time and effort you've uh, given me over the years and look forward to many, many more years together. Uh, having friends and uh, having fun together and, and enjoying uh, everything we can together. Thanks very much. Well, I would want to say happy birthday, Mike. It's great to celebrate your birthday again. And I was going to do a pizza this year for your birthday. I loved the Whopper that we did last year. And I was going to do a pizza, but you keep switching businesses that you're in. So you got to let me know if I need to do a burger, a pizza, a sub sandwich, or what. So we can properly celebrate your birthday together again. I hope it's a great one. We love you and look forward to sharing lots of fun, fun times together. And Mike, none of us will ever forget the night that you lit the star on top of that magnificent tree. You and Travis climbed up in the bucket and you lit the star and it was quite a moment. We'll never forget it. You know, Joanne said that it's the busiest intersection in town and that's so true. Uh, but when people drive by and see that tree, they certainly think of the Salvation Army. But when the three of us see that tree, we think of Mike Simmons. Mike, you always challenge us to do our very best, and by challenging us, you did bring out our best each and every time. You showed us many examples of how we could do things better, particularly in the online community. You showed us many examples of, of others that had done well, and you just wanted us to do better, and you pushed us to do that. You pushed us to take risks, and we're glad we did. It wasn't always easy, but we always came out on top. Thank you so much, Mike, and happy birthday. Hello, Mike. I felt very honored when I was uh, called, received a call and was invited to uh, participate in this filmmaking that your family is preparing to uh, show you uh, later in this year, 2014, during the month of August, at the, on the occasion of your 28th birthday coming up. Uh, Mike, uh, you and I met in the, uh, in our, with the, the activities of our association with the Omaha Restaurant Association quite a few years ago. And during that time, it was my pleasure to uh, uh, have a friendship with you. And during the friendship, I noted a couple of important uh, things that uh, I tried to carry on with. Uh, they have really made a big impact on my life. And the first is the, your thought pro process. You are a man who listens, and you try to get all the facts of a problem that somebody's brought to you, and then before you make any decisions about it, you, uh, I can see in your mind that uh, your, your brain is really digesting all those facts. Once you've uh, concluded that uh, you know how to advise the person, you then give the, the uh, problem a uh, solution. However, I have to uh, regretfully tell you that of all the accounts that uh, I've heard, heard you uh, examine, your record of being good is not what it should be. In fact, you only are right about 99.27% of the time. Now, you have a very lovely family. During your lifetime, of course, you started as a kid, then you were a student, then a college man, and then a husband, a uh, father, and a grandfather. And it, uh, it always amuses me when you uh, bring us a story 
about something that grandchildren have done. done. And uh, you uh, reverently referred to them as, quote, the kids, end quote. Uh, another uh, trait, a good trait, that I tried to emulate, emulate that you taught me through uh, your actions is uh, when you find or you hear of a group that's performing some sort of a social uh, activity to better the life of uh, those who need some encouragement, you volunteer your, uh, your time, your talents, and your uh, money to assure that that group will fulfill its mission. Uh, also, you have a very lovely life, pardon me, wife, <coughs> Lynn, who we all know, love, and appreciate. Finally, Mike, I want to wish you a very happy birthday. And I hope that you have many, many more. Amen. Well, Mr. Simmons, want to wish you a happy birthday and uh, just hope everything is going well for you. And, uh, I'm sure I will see you soon. I'm uh, sure there's a dirty Audi waiting in your garage for me as we speak. So I'll be uh, heading over to get that all cleaned up for you. And, uh, you know, again, I just want to say thank you for everything that you've done for me and the help that you've helped me out. I don't know where I would be today if it wasn't for you. Mike, thank you for always being a friend. During your 15 years as an advisory board member, I've always admired your hard work, what you've given back to the community. Thank you so very much for always making me feel so comfortable. Happy birthday. Hey Mike, it's Pete. I love you, man. It has been a absolute privilege being your friend and you are a tremendous amount of fun to be around. I've so enjoyed all of our lunches. Uh, I love the fact that you're a foodie because I'm a foodie too and I love the fact that you uh, talk your mind because it's very refreshing especially in the world of politics which I know you're not part of but I am and uh, having somebody who just says what they think is just incredibly uh, fun because it doesn't happen in the other parts of politics. Uh, you, you have just been tremendous for the Omaha community. Uh, I can't tell you how much I've learned from watching you and how you think about we do, how you think about philanthropy and what the right way to do things are, how much you've been involved, how generous you've been to so many people. Uh, I really just can't say enough about uh, what a great guy you are and, and uh, what an honor it is for me to be a friend. And so uh, I just, uh, you know, I know you've got a lot of friends here uh, and family that are making videos for you and uh, they're probably all saying the same thing, but I want to let you know that uh, I have truly been blessed to, to be your friend, and it is an absolute honor, and I, I love you, and uh, you know, look forward to being able to share more good lunches at uh, Sushi Blue or any place else you want to go. So uh, with that, uh, I guess I'll uh, sign off and let the next person take their turn. Well, Mike, happy birthday. This is from Amy and I, and we go back to our days of law school. Of course, you finished and I didn't, and I'm just so proud of your achievements over the years. You uh, served on the city council of Lincoln, later became mayor of Lincoln, and of course, governor of this great state. Finally, the United States Secretary of Agriculture, now senator. I mean, it's just great that you're going to be retiring soon and your birthday and be able to look back and on your wonderful achievements. So again, Amy and I salute you, Mike Johans, for oh, your wonderful... Me. Excuse me. This yes. is for Mike Simmons' birthday. Who? Mike Simmons. Mike Mike Simmons. Well, that that's different. Mike, uh, happy birthday, and please, whatever you do, ease up on the waiters. Happy birthday, buddy. And Mike, you always challenged us with your competitive spirit. So, in honor of your birthday, three of us are going to take the day off, and we're going to put you in charge of the department. Happy birthday, Mike. Happy Have birthday, fun. Mike. Happy birthday, Good luck. Mike. Bye. Good luck, Mike. Happy birthday. Mike, I want to wish you a very happy birthday, and I look forward to trying some of your scotch to celebrate your birthday here soon. All right, uh, Mike, happy birthday. Um, I know it's under tough circumstances, but I hope it's a great one. Um, I think there are a lot of us that are A, pulling for you, and B, uh, feel very rewarded by having you in our lives. Thank you. 
Happy birthday, Papa. There's so many memories with you. I just, there's not even a, enough words to describe how much fun I've had with you and how much I appreciate what you've done for me. I love you and I hope you know that, and I know you know that. Have a happy birthday. Happy birthday, buddy. I so appreciate our friendship. We met probably 20 years ago, but in the last five years, our friendship has become very close. Your thoughts, ideas, perspective, and outlook on life has been an inspiration. You are so good at communicating and getting your point across in so many different and interesting ways. I remember a while back, we were at an event together at CenturyLink, and I was talking to our newly elected mayor, Gene Stothert. When I finished my conversation, I walked away, and you came up to me and asked me if I would introduce her to you. As I recall, you did not support her during her campaign. As a matter of fact, you were very active in support of another candidate. We walked over to Jean, I introduced you, and you gently grabbed Jean's hand, and you used her hand to slap your own face. You then said, Jean, I am sure I deserve this. It was a funny and effective means to initiate the conversation. I thought to myself, that guy's good. He took what could have been a strained conversation and made it into a productive one. That has never happened to me after a girl slaps my face. Happy birthday, Mike. Thanks for the, our friendship and all that you've done for our community. Hey, Mike, I want to wish you a happy birthday. I can tell you what, I was running around all morning trying to find this huge, colorful turtle to put on your desk, but I couldn't find it anywhere. But just the same, the warmest, greatest birthday wishes to you and hope this one is the best for you. All right, love you. May the blessings of Almighty God uh, be upon you, around you, within you, and um, know truly how much you are loved by, by me and by so many. In the company, um, for the longest number of years, we had this huge turtle, it was about this big. And uh, what they would do is for your birthday, you come in and sitting on your desk was this turtle, this massive turtle, and that was your happy birthday wish, you know. And it, w it would go from desk to desk whenever someone had a birthday, you know. <laughs> that was great. I'd like this time to wish Mike and, and, and all, but especially Mike, a very, very happy birthday. Uh, I try not to count them all. I try to skip a few, but... Uh, they, they come every single year, just like your uh, income tax uh, obligations. But I'd like to tell them a very, very happy birthday and many, many more. Well, Mike, you know I'm a woman of few words, but I thought I would have a few things to say today on the occasion of your birthday. Uh, I want to tell you it's been a great, wonderful 25 plus years uh, working with you. It's been rewarding for me, and I hope it was rewarding for you also. Um, it's uh, strange because I look forward to going to work for you every day for 25 years and I don't think very many people can say that and I think that's a real testament to your management style and your support in the way that you rewarded all of your staff, uh, not just myself. And uh, thinking about that. Hey Mike, I want to wish you a super happy birthday and uh, uh, it's a milestone for you, I know. And uh, with all the battles that you've been through, you've been one tough son of a gun. And uh, I pray you have many more birthdays as well. Anyway, uh, on the occasion of your birthday, uh, I want to give you the only thing I can give you that you don't have, which is my sincere thanks and appreciation uh, for all the years uh, working with you and how wonderful and generous you were to me that during those years. Uh, I can't help but think about on my 40th birthday when I walked down to the parking garage and you had a brand new Mercedes for me with a big red bow on it. And uh, the time you came over to our house with a Rolex for Gary to thank me for <laughs> my work on a project for you. And finally the trip to Copenhagen to see my family when you and Lynn and the kids all joined us over there. Uh, just uh, great times that I'll always remember and I appreciate. Mike, you're a wonderful guy. You've really meant 
a great deal to me. Your love of your family, your love of your friends, your compassion for those less fortunate, and your generosity to every one of those sets of people has been tremendous. Mike, happy birthday. Well, Mike, uh, have a great birthday. Um, you're, uh, uh, and have a great celebration and uh, gather your family around you and uh, uh, your friends and uh, uh, I wish you a happy birthday. My wife, Ann, wishes you a happy birthday. We had a great trip with you and Lynn to Africa, an unforgettable trip, and uh, we all had a great time, and it's one of my permanent memories. And so uh, have a, just have a great birthday. So to Mac, I say happy birthday, and thank you for all of those wonderful things you did for us, and I hope your birthday is just great. And I will tell you that before your birthday comes, there's a box of toffee at my house that has your name on it, so it will be delivered. Happy birthday, Mike. What? Happy birthday, Mike. Happy birthday, Mike. Hope you have a great day. Um, and maybe your birthday wish will come true and I'll do my final table dance that I don't do very often for you. <laughs> Go get a big steak and enjoy it because I know you'll love it. Happy birthday, Mike. Enjoy. Bye. Mike, uh, I did make a list of, of some of the, I think, some of your great traits that I really admire in you, and uh, I've got that list with me right here. Um, I admire your, uh, you're, an, you're a very intelligent person. You have a great sense of humor. You're patient. Uh, whoops. Let me cross that out. That goes in the other column. Um, you're, a, you're a loving husband and a loving father. You're very adventurous. You're a very curious person. You have a high level of integrity. And those are just a few of the traits that I have always really admired with the, of, of in you, Mike. And um, it's been Chris and my great fortune to know you and Lynn and call you as close friends. And we both want to wish you a very happy birthday. Mike, happy, happy. Happy birthday to you. God bless you to pieces. May you have many, many more. I pray for you every day. And Mike, you know I love you dearly. Happy birthday. Hey Mike, it's your birthday. You know what that means. It's time for another butt cake. No, I didn't say butt cake, butt cake. But I've been thinking there's another dessert that I think was created precisely with you in mind. Creme brulee, yep, creme brulee, crusty on the outside, really crusty, warm, smooth, and gooey on the inside. That's you, my dear friend. My wish for you is the happiest of happy birthdays. Hey Mike, you know, I haven't known you as long as a lot of your friends, uh, but to know you is to love you. And uh, you're simply irresistible, in short. Our friendship began on the, uh, our O'Farts tour of France in the Porsches. You remember O'Farts? Omaha's finest American racing team. And on that trip, I admired the way you shut down the Chinese by saying quite loud across, an, across the radio that about 12 people could hear, shut the F up. And you got the job done better than our German guide. So that's when our friendship began, Mike, and it bloomed from there. And you're truly one of the most unforgettable people I've ever met. When I think of you, adjectives fill my brain. You're generous, you're courageous, you're loving, you're fun, you're humorous. Uh, 
I love your ADD. When we go to dinner, uh, I've really got to stay alert uh, following uh, you skipping from subject to subject. It's fun, and you know what you're talking about. Again, Mike, your impact on this community has been far and wide. Your generosity, your civic involvement, your spirit, um, everything, everybody you meet just loves being with you. Uh, what's inspiring to me is your courage all through the years that you've dealt with cancer. Uh, you have no idea how often I think of you. I think of you not only with regard to your inspirational way you approach life while dealing with cancer, but also your approach to life in general. And there's, you're kind of a role model. I love your humor. I love that you are direct and you say what you want to say. And uh, those characteristics make us all love you. Uh, Mike, uh, a testimony to your popularity is the many, many people who are taking part in this video. And at this point, I just want to say, happy birthday, Mike. And I truly, truly love you. Happy birthday, and just want to let you know that um, uh, the 20 years that I've known you since I was started mowing your lawn and doing your Christmas lights, that um, you have really shown me the way of how to treat people in business and um, uh, to really pay it forward in life and through employees, through networking with people, through uh, generosity that you've shown me and um, many, many great things that uh, I've learned from you. So, um, happy birthday. Mike, I wish you the happiest of happy birthdays. That God bless you, keep you safe, keep a big smile on your face, the sun will come up tomorrow. Happy birthday. Uh, happy birthday and many more, many more. Thanks, Mike. I love you. Happy birthday, Mike. Once again, thanks for all of your support and thanks for everything you do for our community. Happy birthday, Mike. Happy birthday, Mike. Um, stay out of trouble, man. Let me know if you need any help uh, getting home from the big birthday parties. <laughs> happy birthday, Mike. We'll talk to you soon. Congratulations and happy birthday. Happy birthday, Mike. I love you, man. Happy birthday, Mike. Happy birthday, Mr. Simmons. We wish you the best, and we're thinking about you, and I uh, hope you enjoy this. Happy birthday, Mike. Happy birthday from the little Nell. And so, Mike, what I say today is happy birthday from your friend with the same hairstyle, uh, with glasses. You know, people have always said that we look like each other. Um, <laughs> I'll accept the collar, but happy birthday. Bless you. Well, what I'd say directly, Mike, you know, times uh, change a lot compared to uh, maybe what they were 20 years ago. And so if this wasn't just on camera, I'd get up, I'd give you a hug, and I'd give you a big kiss. And I do love you, Mike. Have a good one. Hey, Dad. Hey, Papa. We want to wish you a very, very happy birthday. We want to let you know how much we love you and appreciate all the many things you've done for us. We enjoy you each and every day. There are so many memories we could tell, but there's just not enough time in the world. I just want you to know that I love you, and you probably already know that, and you're, I just want you to know you're a great grandfather. We all love you so much, and we all wish you a happy birthday. Happy birthday, Dad. I love you. I just want to thank my dad. I, there's been so many um, good times growing up, and as we've gotten getting a little bit older, um, this family's been very fun. Um, 
I have enjoyed being the only normal one. Uh, and it's okay. You guys, it's okay. You guys don't need to worry about it. Um, I appreciate the gifts you've given me, Dad, and I don't mean monetary, but you've given me, you've passed down gifts to me. And you're, you also are very generous, but you've provided so many opportunities for the family, education, you know, getting us started in different work type of things, um, helping us in school, making us try gross food, even if we don't like it, but the boys do it for money. And um, yeah, I'll just, I'm so glad to celebrate your birthday with you this year. Uh, you're 30 years older than me. Happy birthday, Dad. You mean so much to me, and I'm so appreciative for everything. Um, you mean so much to so many other people, too. It almost feels selfish talking about myself. Uh, I love you and hope you have a great birthday. What I think I've taken away from you, Mike, is that if you're going to do something, you're going to do it with everything you've got. You're only going to do it full on, and it's never going to be halfway. And I respect that so much, and I'm inspired by that to the point that it reminded me of my last story. And this was years ago, uh, 20 years ago probably for me, I was in a meeting. They had a guest speaker and his name was Benjamin Zander. He was the conductor for the Boston Philharmonic Orchestra. He was speaking to a hundred people, all of them executives or entrepreneurs. And he was on the stage alone and in the audience, he asked everyone if there was anybody in the audience with a birthday. And a few hands went up, and he brought those people to the stage. He then asked the rest of us to sing them happy birthday. And the first time we went through it, it was weak, to say the least. And he was not happy with that performance. So he continued to ask us over the course of the next 20 minutes, to sing happy birthday to the point where we finally got it to a point where Benjamin Zander thought, now that's a real gift. To sing the birthday song with a little bit of emotion, with a little bit of energy, can make all the difference. So since that time, my family and I have done that in our family, and I'd like to do that for you now. So I'm going to start by getting up on my chair and I'm going to begin and hope that you feel what I'm feeling for you right now, Mike. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Mike. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Mike. And I hope you get to stand on a chair and celebrate again. Love you. Happy birthday.